Well, what's happening here is uh, we have put together this rally for all the victims of uh, Colonel Gaddafi's terror. Uh, basically, the, the basic concept here is the domestic policy is a window to the character, moral character of the ruler. Gaddafi commits domestic terrorism against Libya, but he also commits international terrorism. Well, what we need to know is that the Libyans do feel the, the pain in general of what Gaddafi is doing. I lost a brother. My brother Fatih El Jami, late brother Fatih El Jami, called for democracy, called for free speech, called for property rights, free press, creation of civil society, and for that he was killed. He also advocated for the Lockerbie victims. He believed that Gaddafi's policies really is also a reflection of what it is. So I'm trying to seek justice, carry his legacy, and seek justice. And it's uh, never again. I don't want to see what happened to my brother to happen to anybody again. The pain of the Lockerbie victims and the IRA victims is the same pain as the Libyans. And we need to influence the policy of uh, the State Department and uh, our leaders. The real Libya is here. The real Libya is my brother. The real Libya is 1,200 people who died in a Muslim prison. The real Libya is the pain that Gaddafi has inflicted on Americans, on French, on all people of the world. That is the real, that's the real situation. As government, we have an opportunity to engage Libya on values that we should be building people-to-people -people relationship. We shouldn't be building people-to-dictator relationship. What we're doing right now is we're allowing this killer with American blood on his hands to really uh, escape justice and launder his image. And, the, and then we, we, we also go and say, well, we need to win the hearts and minds of the Libyans and people of the Middle East. You can't do that. You're not going to win that by, by laundering the image. My hope for Libya, my hope for Libya and hope for the whole Arab world is to be, Libya in general, to be a peaceful society by the rule of law that my brother stood for and thousands of Libyans dissidents were kidnapped, disappeared and killed. What I'd like to add is I pray and I hope that President Obama, who came with a change and hope, that he will review his policies, administration policy, enough of laundering Gaddafi's image, that Secretary Clinton should be more assertive in instituting a policy of moral clarity and the Obama administration must do that. We need it. We need to engage the Libyans, not Gaddafi. And we need to press for reform. Otherwise, people like my brother and all the thousands of people, including Americans who died at the hands of Gaddafi, have died in vain.